Yannick, you won the one day, one team assignment on making the cut where all the designers had to work together on a collection. Uh, and you came up with the idea for that collection, which was a funeral. Uh, wh where did that funeral idea come from? Well, it was um, it was a fun thing. We, we, we tried to find a theme, a topic, and everybody was talking uh, around and had very good ideas. But I, I, I felt that we cannot narrow it down to something that can end up cohesive. So I was in my head like, okay, where, where could we go all together? Where we wearing similar colors and where the topic is so clear that nobody misunderstands and ends up in a cohesive collection. So I was thinking about funerals some minutes, but I knew because I'm normally working with white and with white only that perhaps, you know, like I'm gonna make it harder for myself as well. So I kept that information a little bit for me. And then I was like, okay, let's, let's just try what to see what the others think. And yeah, and then I said, let's do funeral. And everybody was super happy and, and intrigued. And uh, yeah, it was really nice. Uh, had you had uh, much experience at all working with black? Was this your very first time? That was my very first time working with black. I'm not working with black normally. Um, and you uh, talked on the show about how your style is so bold and unique and, and it's not always understood by, by people. Uh, so with that in mind, what was it like hearing that it was unanimous that you, were, that you would win this challenge? Yeah, I, I, I was so surprised that I, in that moment, didn't find the words to say. And I, I, I was anyway, all the time, very nervous in front of the judges. Um, so I was so surprised that they actually appreciated a deconstructed trench coat as a dress and they loved it. And, and yeah, it, it was very emotional for me, even though I'm not sure if, if one could, could see that, but I, I was very emotional and very happy in that moment. Uh, and having one for uh, this design, uh, does that inspire you to, you know, did that inspire you to work more with black or to expand from white or did you want to go right back to white? Uh, I'm, I prefer to work with white, to be honest, um, but white and black have, have, have a lot of um, similarities, um, but I really, I, I really prefer um, white and I know black is such a loved color, so I will always like include a, a, a black option somehow in the collection because it's a very loved um, color, but um, I rather work with white and color than if I have to on a later point. And uh, what made you come up with the idea for the deconstructed trench coat specifically for this mistress character who you were designing for? Um, we, we had really just a little amount of time always to do um, our designs and I really do love tailored pieces but with such a little time it's super hard to do a, a tailored piece and then I was thinking like okay now we have no time let's just try to do it because for me it was like I wanted to show every time a, a other aspect of of my capabilities of, of, of my range, what I can can do. So I was like, okay, I did underwear, I did um, a jogger, I did pants, I did a jacket, I did dresses, I need to do something different this time. And I, I just said, let's go for it. Let's do the deconstructed um, trench coat. I love trench coats. I had this in mind already. And I felt like this is the right challenge or the right assignment to actually pull that off. Uh, and what's it like making accessible pieces that, you know, still fit in with your, uh, your really bold, really creative, uh, conceptual uh, aesthetic? I really like to do that, actually. I like to have a crazy idea and then find a way to make it accessible or, like, useful for an everyday wardrobe. Um, it's, it's challenging, but I, I really, I, I love challenges. Uh, what was the experience like uh, having to do this? Uh, uh, as you said, it's a quick turnaround. This one was just seven hours. What was that like? It, it got very emotional, and, but, but it was really good. It was a good experience. And I had the feeling actually that this assignment 
like put us together as a family. I really felt like we're helping each other. And we, we got to know in those seven hours so a lot of, of the others. And yeah, at the end, it was very emotional, but we helped each other and we performed as a team and we performed very well in this assignment as a team. Uh, and the fact that uh, you know it was such a good uh, it was such a good uh, fashion show that no one was eliminated uh, for it. Um, did that e feel even better for you, knowing that like this idea had come from you and you know you would helped inspire the other teammates that way? Well, it it was more not the point of, of me, but I. I I really looked at the collection and on everything everyone did um, before we went to the judges. And I said like, okay, today, nobody deserves to go home because we were, the whole collection was so good and so close to each other. And I was really thinking like, who are they going to send home? Everybody did so well in this assignment. And yeah, thank goodness they didn't send anybody home for this assignment. Uh, and what inspired you uh, to get into fashion in the first place? Uh, I was really uh, unsatisfied in, in, in my job I had. I was working in the office um, doing marketing and events, which was quite nice. But I was working with so a lot of um, creative people because I did events and marketing for, a create, for creative people, for hairdressers. And... At one point, I was like, okay, I work with creative people. I'm doing the least creative job. Uh, I need to do something creative. And I quit my job and went to study fashion. And what inspired uh, your particular uh, style uh, that you developed over the years? I think it's, um, it came with, with my studies at the university that I realized that a lot of prints and colors are very much distracting from from the actual design you you can make a design much nicer looking with a nice print or with a nice color combination but when you don't have color you're actually concentrating much more on the details on on the pattern on the design itself and this was the challenge i i, I wanted for myself i wanted to convince people with with the design itself. And then I started with white and I stuck somehow there with the white. Uh, and uh, what was it like being selected for the show, uh, knowing that you know, you'd be one of 10 people from people selected or from around the world and knowing that you'd be a uh, part of it? This was actually really crazy because like I did the application one day before the due date when when we had to hand it in uh, and I didn't have a lot of time and I was like okay just try it they can't say more than no and it was pretty quick because I was so late with the application that the next day I already knew I'm, I'm in the next month and then after one and a half months casting process I got the invitation to come to LA and it felt so surreal well, I want to congratulate you on uh, your look, your winning look on this assignment um, and on your work on the show in general. You're one of my favorites to see what you uh, put on the runway every every assignment. So uh, thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you. Much appreciated as well. Mm -hmm.